Here at InVideo, we're huge fans of magazine covers and how much drama they add to photos. So when we were thinking of ideas for what we could create this week for everyday experiments with InVideo, we thought of the idea of creating a vertical magazine cover that would make a really cool video for TikTok or Reels. So in this video, we're going to show you the exact process we used to create a vertical magazine cover video. But before we get started with the tutorial, check out what we came up with and let us know in the comments what you think. Looks super fun, doesn't it? Let's jump in. The first thing you're gonna need to do is record a video of yourself in front of a blank background. You're just gonna kind of walk into the frame, do a few poses, and that's it. So that's the only shot you need, super easy. And then once you have that, you're gonna head over to invideo.io and just go ahead and open up a blank nine by 16 vertical project. Basically what we're doing here is taking the video that you just created and turning it into a vertical video. So if you started out with a vertical video, if you filmed it on your phone, you can actually skip this step. Once your project opens up, upload your video, and then you can go ahead and delete the title and the logo that's on there. And then take your clip and drag it on. You can go ahead and crop it so that you're right at the center. And then you're gonna just download the video as it is. And then the next step is to turn this video into a sequence of PNG files. That's going to allow us to remove the background from the images later on. So it sounds a bit complicated, but it's not. Just head over to easygift.com. At the top here, it says APNG, click on that. And then upload the video that we just downloaded. It's gonna take a second, but basically what it's doing now is turning each frame of your video into a still PNG image. Okay, so go ahead and download them as a PNG sequence. Okay, then you're gonna come back to InVideo and upload all of those PNGs. So to keep them organized, you definitely wanna create a separate folder to put them in. And then once they're all uploaded, you're gonna add them to your timeline one by one. Start with the first image in the sequence. That's gonna go on the bottom and just continue adding all of them. You can see now they're stacked on top of each other. Okay, now what you're gonna do is make each one of those images as short as it can possibly be. So basically we're taking each image and turning it into a frame of the video and then rebuilding the video. So starting at the bottom, drag this until it won't let you make it any smaller and then do the same with the next one, then move the second one so it's right after the first and then repeat the process with all of the images. When you're done, you should have kind of a diagonal line from the bottom to the top and then if you play the scene, it should look like a video. Now you're gonna find the first spot where you want the magazine cover to come in. Once you've found the spot, you're gonna remove the background from that frame and from all of the following frames. So click on your image, then use the background remover tool at the top here and repeat for all of your images. And then what you wanna do is again, find the spot where you want the first magazine cover to come in and drag that image out a little bit longer to make it a freeze frame. Okay, now you're gonna find the image that you wanna use as the background. So you can come to the images tab on the left panel here and search our library of stock photos. Let's go ahead and search beach. And then I'll pick out one of those. Go ahead and drag it onto your canvas. And then if you click on it on the canvas, it'll highlight it down on your timeline. So just make sure it's underneath your freeze frame image so that the freeze frame image shows up on top of it. All right, then you're gonna drag it so that it starts at the exact same spot as your freeze frame. And then I'm gonna add a little animation to it. So I'm just clicking on it, then clicking animation, and then I'm gonna select wipe from down. That gives it a really cool effect, like it's coming in from the bottom. All right, then you're gonna repeat that process two more times. Find your two other freeze frames, find photos to go in the background, and then add them in. Our next step is gonna be to add text. So come over to the text tab on the left, click add a heading. So we'll start with the word Vogue, type Vogue in all caps. And then for the font, I'm gonna choose Bodini Moda Medium. You can go ahead and search for that. And that's gonna look a lot like the actual Vogue logo. And then you're gonna come back down to the timeline and drag it so that it's underneath your freeze frame photo, but in front of the background image. And then the word Vogue is just gonna stay static on the screen the whole time, so you can just drag it out to the end of the video. And then to really make this look like a magazine photo, you can go ahead and add some smaller text. I'm gonna add three more groups of text on this slide, so I'll start by duplicating the Vogue text, and then I'll leave this one a little bit bigger, and then I'll add some more text and make it smaller. You kind of wanna vary the sizes and then just put it on the sides of the image. 
And if you want, you can add some animation to the text the same way we did before. All right, and then for the next slides, to make it easier, I'm just gonna copy and paste the text from the first one, move it around a little bit, change what it says. And I think that looks good. So at this point, if you like your video, you can come up to the top where it says download and share, and that is where you'll be able to save your video. And if you do wanna change the size of your video at this point, it's super easy to do. For example, if you wanted to create a version for YouTube, you're gonna to wanna to go with the horizontal video, or if you wanna post it on your Instagram feed, you might go with a square. So right underneath where it says download, you just go ahead and click one of those options. It'll open up a brand new project with the same exact video, but in a different size. If you wanna create your own magazine cover video using the exact same layout I just created, we've made it super convenient for you by putting the link to that template in the description. If you did find value in this video, be sure to give it a like and let us know in the comments below what kind of tutorial you wanna see next. I'm Teresa with NVIDIA and I will see you in the next one.